I know what you are thinking, Your Highness. You think me a disrespectful and disloyal dog of the same breed as Dong Zhuo. I understand why, of course. And am I wrong? You pretend to respect me, but you are driven by ambition. I know your kind too well. Yes. Indeed. I admit, I am an ambitious man. Our desires drive us. Our hearts drive us forward. Uncontrolled. This leads to chaos. The current state of the land is a testament to this. I believe that we are capable of better. Desires can be controlled. Strength ruled with reason. Order can be restored. And now, I have a chance to realize this ambition. You wish to control the land? With strength and reason? Exactly. And, at the pinnacle of such a world, I require a true symbol of power and reason. I will need you, Your Highness. Rather than hoping vainly for peace, I may indeed be wiser to follow your plan. Well then, Cao Cao, as my minister, restore order to the land. As you command. celebrate your victory. But, Your Highness, the danger to your person. With your army here, I feel perfectly safe. Please, will you all stand up for me? I wish to look into the eyes of these heroes. These brave warriors, they are your strength, aren't they, Cao Cao? My strength and my treasure. Therefore, as you are my master, they are your strength and your treasure as well. <laughs> I am truly blessed to have you as a minister. Use your strength to lead this land into a new age. My lord.
First the south, now the north. We've hardly had time to breathe. The fault is mine alone. All of this is due to the mistake I made at Cherby. Come on now. That's not what I meant to say at all. Yet, it is true that my mistake has delayed our quest for peace. I begin to have concerns that it will not arrive within my lifetime. There's nothing to be gained from you speaking like that. And even if we do not live to see it, the next generation will surely know peace. Master Tsao Pi is a fine young man. And my son has proven himself too. Hmm. Then maybe you and I should just be preparing for retirement. Now, now, don't be like that. The way I see it, we still have a thing or two to teach them. So, Guan Yu is no more. Son, you will succeed me, will you not? Father, just what has brought this on? Guan Yu's death signals that we have reached the end of an era. The era of myself. Of Guan Yu. Of Yuan Shao. It was an era in which true men struggled for supremacy. I am sure that I, and likely Liu Bei too, will soon be called to join them. But you must go on. Inherit my power. And lead this land the future it deserves. I can see it now. I can see you fighting bravely, driving the land forward. Listen, my son. You must move on and create a better future. Create a new age, and lead this land there. Chaos has ended. Or rather, we used our strength to overcome it. The land and the people will now have ample time to recover and grow bountiful. The struggle to come will be the responsibility of the next generation, as they strive to build a land based on the ideals of reason and understanding. <laughs> Human life is a short and a fragile thing. That is why we must sing and laugh while we can. To overcome that sadness.
and we must keep moving forward. If our path leads us into battle, then we must take up our weapons and face our foes. Oh, how brightly does humanity shine. This brilliance is the legacy that I leave. Yeah! Victory is ours. Yes. Dividing the land. That was it. Your grand design. Where do they fit within it then? What do you think, Lu Su? Liu Bei would make a valuable ally. But Juga Liang, that man is truly to be feared. Yes, indeed. Watch him closely. His intellect may one day be turned against Wu. Well, for the moment, we should just savor what we've achieved. Huh. This victory is a giant leap forward for the dreams of the people of Wu. I hear word that Liu Bei has defeated Cao Cao at Hanjong. With the land divided, the time to take out Cao Cao is drawing near. Yeah. Liu Bei. He has been most valuable. A trustworthy ally. But my lord, how long can that continue? If Wu is to one day rule the land, then... You must open your mind. The future of this land may be in a form we have not yet dreamed of. Not yet dreamed of? Twin! Oh, father, brother. It is so good to see you here. You did it! I knew you had it in you! No, I still have much to learn. But now, I have the chance to fight under your command again. What are you talking about? I said it's up to you now! You remember? But, but brother... Come on! Show us the path on which you will lead Wu! The path to glory! Luckily for us, Liu Bei continues to hold his own at Hong Zhong. We must seize this chance to inflict further damage upon the forces of Wei. All right! I'm ready for a fight anytime! No retreat and no surrender! We will do! Our duty, come what may. The enemy will be cut down.
forward until our very fangs are snapped, until our tiger's blood runs dry. Now go! The dreams of my father and brother. It is our task to make them come true. Yes, it is time. I have come this far, carrying the dreams of generations and the ambition of a nation. Now, we must make them a reality. Forward, brave tigers! We must rip this age of chaos to shreds! <laughs> Enjoying yourself? Yes, very much so, my lord. It can't be helped. To be here, after the death of his father at our hands, would be too much for him to bear. Still, this accord, and the peace it has brought, are thanks to his courage. One man cannot rule the land. The task is simply too great for a single individual. But together, we can do it. Now, all of us together, and not forgetting those who cannot be here with us, we must build a new age of peace. My brother seems to be in a good mood. Come, I propose a toast. To the land we will build together. To, to the, the land, land we will build, build together. together. That old girl. A political marriage like this 
will be fraught with pressure. <sighs> you don't see as much as you think you do. Just take a good look at them. Those are the faces of young people in love. You be happy. Excellent. You might be right. So far, all is according to plan. But my lord, the next step I fear will be the hardest for you to take. Jing Province has been taken by Master Guan Yu. Yes, I know. I could hear it, his victory cry. <laughs> well, we all knew he would. <laughs> He's one man you can always rely on. What did I tell the two of you, huh? Men of Wu must have their reasons. Don't you worry, my dear. Believe in me. Mm. A land of benevolence is at hand. Men, it's time to realize our goal. Children, where, where is your father? Father said to tell you that he was sorry. <laughs> no, Guan Yu, my lord, not now, please. Zhang Da of Zhang Fei forces has turned on us. He and his men have slain Master Zhang Fei and joined with Wu. No, not Zhang Fei. Uh, uh. Wu has shown us their true colors, my lord. My lady, forgive me. I fear this will be hard on you. Yet, I no longer have any choice. We must defeat Wu and Wei and rule this land. That is how I shall honor my fallen brothers. to eat, please! Lord Liu Bei! Lord Liu Bei!
Juga Leon. I leave it all to you. The people of Shu. Our dreams of a land of benevolence. My beautiful wife. I am so sorry for the pain I have caused you. My lord, with you, I was happy. Oh, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, where have you been, my brothers? Yes, we made our vow that we would always be together. No, my lord! We will create a land of benevolence, Chancellor. Watch us as all your dreams are made reality. My people, I am delighted to be able to see the dawn of this new age, together with you all. However, I have one last request. Remember our sacrifices. Resolving disputes through force alone is never enough to win people's hearts. The passions of people cannot be mastered by reason alone. What we need are allies we can trust, friends who will support us. In that case, do what you will. And together, we can create it. A land of virtue and benevolence. Thanks to you all, we have defeated Cao Shuang. 
This has proven to me that your intellect and bravery will be more than enough to lead way in the future. And so I... <coughs> and so now, I wish to announce... My withdrawal from public life. My son, sure, shall take over for me. Father, why would you choose to do this? We need you now. You have grown physically, but not mentally, it would seem. You're grown men, both of you. Don't you think it's time that you stood on your own two feet? Uh, well... Listen to me. Sure. Zhao. You have talent, but you must strive for more. Be not happy with now, but think of tomorrow. Only with focus will you be able to... My lord. <clears throat> if you continue to baby them, they will never become men. I knew it would happen. But I did not think it would be so soon. What are you going to do, Zhao? What do you mean? You know I'll always be there to support you. Okay. Uh, my lord, how is your wound? Calm yourself. It is little more than a scratch. Brother, what's that? This wound symbolizes my weakness. It can't be undone, nor can it be forgotten. But it is over. This mask is my vow to move on. <laughs> That's funny, Zhao. No, it suits you. You really are a strong man. Destiny is with me. Wei has been put in order. Now we shall conquer Wu and Shu, and put an end to this war perpetuated by imbeciles. Look, my lord, you made the right decision. I did. Good. Sure. Zhao. The two of you are my pride and joy. Come, my talented comrades. We will overcome our enemies and claim this land. Do you understand, Do you understand sure. Sure, sure, sure? Zhao. 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 The, burden the burden we bear, we bear is to hone, to hone our talents, talents. and, then, and then, then we must we make this make land this the land way it ought, way to, it be. ought to be. The talent, the talent you possess, you possess will, be will be put to the ultimate, ultimate test, test soon, enough. soon enough. Until the end, I did, I did only, only that, that which needed, needed to be done. To be done. Jiao. 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 You, you too. too, too, too. And now I'm supposed to rule this land? I wish I could just... <sighs> but I guess I have to. Right, brother? You, Angie. I'm scared of this burden. 
and of what I might lose. Promise me something. Promise me you'll stay with me. You almost sound as though you think I am going to die on you. Don't worry. I will be by your side, my lord. No matter what lies ahead, or what path you choose to take. That much, I can promise. Yeah. I know you'll be there. You have done it, my lord. Once Wu falls, the land will finally belong to Wei. <sighs> Wei. <sighs> Listen, I wonder if you... <sighs> no, don't worry about it. <sighs> Brother. I have started to see that which you saw. Father, Mother, my apologies for inconveniencing you so. Sure. Should you not first be grateful that we are alive? Ah, well, I had no doubt that you could handle Zhong Hui. Hm. So tell me, son, how do you intend to punish them? The Emperor. No, the former Emperor has abdicated. From now, Cao Huan will be Emperor of Wei. Zhang Hui and those who sided with him have had their lands docked. Oh? But their lives not taken. I would have put them all to the sword and their families as well. They no longer have the strength to resist us. If they are alive, we can use them. I see. A decision that suits the times. A wise course of action indeed, son. No. I learned everything I know from observing your genius.
What was it you said to me? Uh... From now on, I'll take things more seriously. <sighs> so, my lord, just where are you planning on going on such an important day? You, Angie. How did you know? <sighs> because you never change. But you don't need me around, do you? My brother sure has a flair for the dramatic. I was really worried when he collapsed. But now he's all better. And the Emperor has even given him the throne. Whenever my brother needs me, I'll be there. The rest of the time, well, you know me. You did it, brother. of horses and arms, and we are well trained. This is all a result of having a castle and fields to farm. I agree. As a land to call our own, it is ideal. Blessed with many natural advantages. Hmm. Now, Chen Gong, who is it we should fight next? For our next move, we need to target Cao Cao. If we do not deal with him now, it will definitely come back to haunt us later. And then what? Surely there are more powerful foes than just him. Why, of course. The warrior clan to the south. The noblemen in the north. There is no shortage of worthy opponents. We shall conquer this land through battle and then stand upon its summit. Finally, we shall live in a world ruled by might under Master Lu Bu. Ha! Ah, sounds fun. I'll conquer this entire land with the force of my unmatched strength! Now, Master Lu Bu, I leave you in charge. Hmm. Zhang Liao, when I return, let us share a drink together. Good luck, Master Guan Yu. Are you ready? This land is yours. Yours for the taking, my lord. We shall fight all the way to the end. Now, to seize the land for Master Lu Bu. Everything on the battlefield and make it my own! Master Lu Bu, my strategies. If you had simply followed them to the letter, 
Strategies? Your strategies only serve to stand in my way! In your way? Do you understand nothing? If you would only listen to my strategies, then we would never, never lose a single battle! Enough! The both of you, remember your honor as men. Hmm. Are you finished yet? Let me ask you something. Are you willing to serve me and help me realize my ambition? Hmm. You could not even slay a helpless swine. Why? Why would I agree to serve you? However, if you were to offer your support to help me on my own path, then I might be willing to join you. To be remembered as the strategist of a tactless man. Without a doubt, that is... that is... that is a disgrace! However, our association ends here today. In the next life, my name, my genius, shall be revered throughout the land! Oh! We have lost. I have no right to speak. Hmm. There is more to you than that. Until now, you were merely following after Lu Bu. You have yet to find your own path. <sighs> Fight upon my battlefields and hone your might. If you wish to die, then you may die there. Take him away. Zalza, you dare presume I'd serve you? Never! Hmm. Do you not find me worthy? Liu Bei, would you care to take him in? I think not. He cannot be trusted. Hmm. I see. It seems that you are destined to die here. You lot are pathetic! I am! I'm Lu Bu! The strongest to ever live! Very well. I shall remember that. Farewell, you beast of the chaos. Kill me? Why do you think the land is in turmoil? <laughs> it is because of your weakness. That's why men such as the Eunuchs and Dong Zhuo have emerged from this chaos. The man who stands at the top must be strong. You will give me your throne. And then you will leave! <laughs> oh, Lord Lu Bu! The 
There's little point in killing those that can't even defend themselves. Your Majesty, the war has ended. Those days are behind you. Where are your robes? Hmm. I'd never be caught dead in those things. You seem to be doing quite well, though, Tengon. My genius shall be known throughout the land. The people will chant my name. My name! My glorious name! Without doubt, my legend shall live on through the ages. Hmm. Hear me! I have used my power to conquer this land! From here on out, I refuse to allow any pointless squabbles to ruin it! Any man who thinks he can take me on should come forth! I'll beat him down where he stands! Lubu, the most powerful man this land has ever known! <laughs> Shoo Choo, I think that maybe you've had enough. Everyone, you've done well. Our journey is over. We have brought an end to the chaos. From this day forth, we must begin working on a new land for the sake of the people. However, let us forget about that for now. Drink freely and take up a song. <laughs> Isn't this grand, Master Eugene? <laughs> Master Eugene, come join me in a dance to celebrate our victory! No thank you. Oh. If I go out there, it'll surely ruin the party. strict with yourself and to others and respect the law which makes people afraid of you without you here my kingdom never could have reached the lofty heights it has now you praise me too highly you have done well, Eugene. I appreciate your loyalty. It is perhaps the greatest gift I could ask for. What's the matter, you two? Uh my lord, nothing. We're here for the sunrise. And you? <laughs> After the council, our lord called a meeting. No sleep for us. <laughs> Surely you must be tired. The sun rises in the east and illuminates the land. Just as it is doing to us now. The sun eventually sets. However, it always rises again along with the spirit to begin anew. 
By the way, you two, what were you talking about? The future of Wu. And what's to come, right? Yes. Various things. Lu Xun, Ju Ron. Be the rising sun that illuminates Wu. That is, the destiny of young men like yourselves. Mm. Indeed, I know that I, for one, am looking forward to it. Yes, you can count on us. I understand. We will ensure that the future of Wu remains in good hands. With this tree, many peach blossoms will bloom. Yes. On that fateful day, we made a vow that we would die as one. Please forgive me. I need you to wait for me. I must unite this land. I cannot rest until such sorrows have ended. Everyone, you did well in avenging my brothers. I now ask that you continue to stand by me. Once again, I solemnly make this pledge to my beloved brothers. What do you want? You two must have nothing better to do. <laughs> Obviously, I simply followed my ambition and did as I saw fit. The two of you could never do such a thing. Hmm. Farewell, Zhang Hui. Jiang Wei. Lord Liu Shan, please forgive me. I was unable to help our cause. Don't worry about it, my friend. You've done enough. Forget about your worries. Let them go. From this point on, you can leave it to me. <sighs> My lord. All that's transpired is behind us now. The scars from this chaos are not so easily healed. However, the burden of the victor is to keep on walking towards tomorrow, the future.